Today we're going to cover the standing seam module's takeoff screen. There's a couple unique things to keep in mind when you're using the standing seam module for printing your cut list for those standing seam panels. So we just want to make sure that as you're going through, you know the proper way to go in and do your takeoff. Now ultimately, you are going to need to high-low each one of these shapes. So as your building breaks for a different slope area, you're going to need to make sure that these are going to be their own separate areas. So the way that you're going to do that is you're just going to start at the ridge and you're going to go through and take your measurements off. And once you do that, you can click enter. So you're just going to draw each sloped area as its own shape. Now it's important with the standing seam module that you start in the same location. The reason being when you high low, your standing seam panels and we start to lay out, we want to start from the same location so that way at the ridge those panels are going to match up. In this case, if I were to go in and I were to draw out my standing seam panel, notice how I started in the upper left hand corner here. Well if I were to draw this panel and I start in the upper right hand corner rather than the upper left, my panels aren't going to match up. So as I'm going to go through and draw my high lows, you'll see that the black lines at the ridge aren't going to line up as nice as we would like them to versus this area here where I started in the same location. So As I zoom in, you'll start to see what I'm talking about. You'll notice that these panels aren't necessarily lining up perfectly like the panels up here on this side. And that's just due to the way that this was drawn. We didn't start this area in the left hand corner like we did when we drew this first shape here. Okay, so that's why that's happening. Now ultimately if you had a different pitch, let's say that these three pitched areas on the roof were going to be a different pitch than what you had drawn here, you will need to copy and insert this condition and create your second roof area condition so that way you can apply a different pitch to it. Now other than that here on the takeoff screen there's not really much more to go over but I do want to go ahead and show you your report. So in this case before I show you your report I want to fix the area so let me just delete this area here really quick and redraw it just so that way the report looks the way that we want it to for the video. Alright, so now we're going to jump back out and I'm going to mark just this one report and we're going to go click on our reports icon. Here you'll notice because we're using the standing seam module, we get the standing seam report. I'm going to click the play button here on the right hand side to preview it and I'm going to leave all of the options selected and say OK. At this point in time, it's going to open up the report for me and I'm going to just expand this window for you so that way you can see it a little bit better. As we zoom in, you're going to notice that there are a bunch of different lettered combinations here, and those are the names of the panels that you're working with. So as you can see, this is going to be that overhead view for you, and if you close out of this report, it's going to open a second report, and that report's going to be your panel cut list. So now again, I'm just going to extend this out so that way you can see a little bit more information. Ultimately, these are the different panels you have and the number that you're going to need presented on your project. Once finished, go ahead and click the exit button and close out again. Now if you have any additional questions as it pertains to the standing seam module, please feel free to reach out to our tech team. They'd be happy to assist you in any way they can. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.